Hello everyone, my name is Daniel and I'm a programmer and an artist. This video is about how you can use the Array Radial modifier for my Geometry Node assets. To use it, we'll need some geometry to Array, so I'll again add a plane and drop a material on it. To use the modifier, we simply need to add it to the object, either via the modifier menu or by dragging and dropping it from your asset browser. Array Radial has two modes. The first spins copies around a point, similar to Array 1D with a rotation offset. In fact, we can easily recreate that result by bringing back our diamond shape and spinning it 360 degrees over eight steps. Um, the other mode is deform, and it will move the vertices of the mesh to bend it into the curved shape rather than just copying the object as is. To get a nicely curved result, you may need to add some extra loop cuts to your mesh so that it has some vertices to, to bend. The cool thing about Array Radial is that it doesn't use specific offsets, Rather, it asks you what you want your total rotation to be, and then it calculates the offset for each step in that rotation for you. This makes it easy to see what an arch would look like with more or less sections simply by adding more or less. The spin axis option lets you choose which axis to spin around, and the transform space option lets you customize how those axes are calculated. The custom origin option lets you pick a different object, such as an empty, to spin the copies around, or to rotate that origin object and set your spin axis to be a custom direction to rotate around. Under the UVs panel, you can adjust the UVs. Adjusted UVs are calculated in a straight line before being spun around your origin point. Um, and just like the Array 1D modifier, each island will be offset by a different amount based on its size. Again, you can watch the Array 1D video for specific details on how that works. Under the Deform Options panel, there are extra controls specifically for the Deform mode. Um, when using Deform mode, you must provide a radius and a width for the Deform geometry. The radius controls how close or far away from the origin point the arc is located, and the width controls how wide to make the Deform geometry around that arc. The Radius Type option lets you choose how the width is measured in relation to the radius. With center, the radius will be at the center of the deformed geometry, and the mesh will extend equally on either side of it. With the inner option, the arc will be placed on the inside of the deformed geometry, closest to the origin, and then the mesh will extend beyond it. And with the outer option, the arc will be placed on the outside of the deformed geometry, farthest away from the origin, and then the mesh will be entirely within the radius. And finally, the spacing option allows you to add a gap between each copy in the deformed array. And that's about it for the Array Radial Modifier. Um, I have a Discord server, which you're welcome to join. The link for that is in the description, as well as links to my website, where there are more details about all of my modifiers, as well as links to where you can purchase my Geometry Node assets. Anyway, that's all I've got for this one. Thanks for watching.